let's imagine it's a weekend you are relaxing a sofa or a chair and you are chilling with your favorite series or anime or a movie but then you forgot something the popcorn or the drinks or the biscuits or whatever you have and so you decide to go grab them you get up and immediately there's a rush of dizziness upon you and everything starts to become dim this isn't you as and last for about three to five seconds and you continue and go and get your stuff some of you may have been through a similar experience and are able to relate because yeah, you remember that time or maybe you have a friend who has told you a similar encounter if you don't fall in any of these categories then a friend may tell you something similar one day unless you don't have friends this condition is most likely what we refer to as BPPV BPPV whose full meaning I will only mention one in this video Benign paroxysmal positional vertigo is one of the most common causes of vertigo. It causes brief episodes of mild to intense dizziness, and in addition, you could have a loss of balance or unsteadiness when standing or walking, nausea, vomiting, and is usually accompanied by nystagmus. These signs and symptoms can come and go and commonly last less than a minute. Episodes of BVPV can disappear for some time and then reoccur with activities, though it varies from person to person, but are almost always characterized by a change in head position. It is usually triggered by specific changes in your head's position such as when you tip your head up or down to look up or down, when going from a line to a seated position or from a line to a standing position or when you roll over or sit up in bed. It can occur at any age but occurs most often in people aged 50 and older and more in women than occurs in men. A head injury or any other disorder of the balance or dance of your ear may make you more susceptible to BPPV. BPPV is often idiopathic where there is no known cause. In cases where the cause may be known, it is understood as a product from minor issues with your ear and where it's secondary, it is often associated with trauma to your head which could and did affect your ear. In addition, disorders that damage your inner ear which could be an ischemic or inflammatory condition or an infection or rarely damage that occurs during ear surgery or long periods positioned on your back such as in a dentist chair or at a beauty salon or during strict bed rest can cause BPPV. Other causes include bike riding on rough shows and high intensity aerobics. So you may be asking, what then is the relationship between BPPV and the ear? Well, the ear is very essential when it comes to your balance. Let's take a quick look inside your ear. Inside your ear is a tiny organ called the vestibular labyrinth. It contains three loop-tube structures called semicircular canals that contain fluid and fine hair-like centers that monitor your hair's rotation. Other structures called otolith organs in your ear monitor your head's up and down, right and left, back and forth movement and your head's position related to gravity. These organs contain crystals called otoconia that make you sensitive to gravity. For many reasons, these crystals can become detached and they can now move into one of the semicircular canals and this will happen especially while you are lying down and where it goes will usually be the posterior semicircular canal given its orientation relative to gravity at the lowest part of the inner ear. The autoconia will not cause a problem when located in a semicircular canal until the person's head changes position which will cause fluids to flow within the semicircular canal simulating nerves and causing vertigo. Although BPPV can be bothersome, it's rarely serious and rarely causes complications except in some cases, such as when you experience any sudden, severe, recurrent or prolonged and unexplained dizziness or vertigo or if you experience it along with any of the following. Loss of consciousness, fever, double vision or loss of vision, hearing loss, trouble speaking, weakness in leg or arm, falling or difficulty walking, numbness or tingling or anything extra that gets you concerned. This may be a signal of a more serious problem, so in these cases, kindly go and see a doctor. The onset of BPPV may be sudden and scary and some people may think they are seriously ill or even fear they are suffering from a stroke, especially when you are cursing the older generation as they are more prone to these kind of conditions. You can receive effective treatment for this condition during a doctor's visit and a doctor's diagnosis of BPPV can be reassuring, especially when people understand that help is available to relieve their symptoms. However, without treatment, symptoms can reduce over a period of days to weeks and sometimes there is spontaneous resolution of the condition. In rare cases, the person's symptoms can last for years. A classical BPPV, one associated with autoconia, can be treated with an exercise called the Epley maneuver, which entails sequential turning movements of the head to move crystals out of the semicircular canal. 
This condition is not to be confused with syncope, and syncope you actually pass out, and in BPPV you don't.